If you have never done it, I am here to tell you that sometimes breaking free from the scroll and taking a five-day social media break is just exactly what you need. I am on a journey to get better in all areas of my life, and I want to do it with you. Welcome to the Being Better Everyday podcast, where we dig deep into all the things a millennial mom needs to know, from how to juggle your passions with your full-time job, to asking the hard questions about hormones and health, and learning from one another along the way. I am Julie Wenslick, and as a mom, business owner, and corporate girly, sometimes life can feel like a lot. So join me in the journey of Being Better Every Day, where we create habits and routines that support your life, create calm in the chaos, and put the you back in your every day. Grab those headphones, put on your shoes, and join me on a walk while we get started with today's episode. Recently, I took a five-day social media break. It was the second time ever I deleted all of my social media apps off my phone for five days or more. So goodbye Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and hello to presence with my family. If you have never done it, I am here to tell you that sometimes breaking free from the scroll and taking a five-day social media break is just exactly what you need. Now, this most recent social media break, I actually didn't plan. I had had my first session with my friend Brittany, who I am working through some pretty serious stuff in in six weeks. And for some reason, just we were headed to the cabin, headed to see my family. And I was like, that's it. I need a break. And I just deleted all three without any planning, which is totally fine. But for those of you who create content, you understand my pain. And I knew that it was also going to be a quieter week in in the realm of, you know, everyone else being off social a little bit more as well. The interesting thing about it, and this is a little bit of a life update, is I actually had a really fun week planned for the week that I deleted my apps. And I think sometimes, right, there is definitely in this millennial generation or those maybe who have shown up regularly on social media for a while, this thought process of, you know, I need to share the amazingness in my life. I need to share the fun moments and it just makes great content. So I deleted my apps on a Friday and went to a cabin with my family Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And although I was busy with them, it I would have been able to post coffee with the lake and and relaxing moments and being present. Obviously, if I'm posting it, I'm not super present, but you know what I mean. And then the following Monday, I actually got to celebrate one of my friends who I have, you know, grown a friendship over the last two years. And I actually started working with her with my custom planner business when she was just starting her side hustle. Well, we went and we got to celebrate her retiring from corporate America two years later. So to be there at the start of her journey, at the start of her starting to earn income on the side to two years later, quitting her corporate job and going out on her own was such an amazing journey. And all of us on the boat happened to also be small business owners who grow their business online. And so obviously there was you know, individuals taking pictures for content and taking videos. And thankfully, everyone shared their information with me so I could share it after I came off of my social media break. But, you know, I would have loved to share it at the moment. But at the same time, it also shows you like you can be present in the moment and still get to share the joy with everyone else. So that was Monday night. The Tuesday after that, And I had a million other appointments on that Monday. I actually got to go see my functional medicine doc, which I would have shared about on my stories. I got to, you know, see some friends, which I would have shared about on my stories. And then that Tuesday, I actually got my first tattoo. And that tattoo, for those of you who are on YouTube, I will show it, is very special to me. It is something that I have been thinking about for over a year. And it is a semicolon with some beautiful birds flying out of it on my wrist. And for those of you who know the meaning of, of, the semicolon, bear with me. But ultimately, I I actually never saw the movie that it came from, but I had seen an inspiration somewhere else. I think actually my therapist is the semicolon represents mental health struggles and mental health awareness. For me personally, it represents acknowledging my anxiety and letting it be a part of my life 
and also, you know, showing that my mental health doesn't define me and that I can grow from it. Hence the birds, which is, you know, kind of like growth and flying and whatever. So check it out if you want to see it on YouTube. But I got to do that as a part of my social media break. And then it was also holiday week. So then we headed up north and we, you know, went on the boat. We went to the zoo. I mean, there was a million different pieces of quote unquote content for those who are content creations. But the benefit of taking this break was I still captured it for myself and for my family. And it allowed me to be more present. And that was the number one thing that came out of my coaching session was this feeling that I hadn't been as present as I intended to be. And so when I take a social media break, there's a couple of things. First of all, one of the boundaries that I have on my apps right now is a combined digital timer. And that combined digital timer on my phone is now down to an hour. Originally, I started as an hour and a half and I have gotten it down to an hour. So I cannot be on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok combined for more than an hour a day. And that allows me, again, to be super intentional about the time that I'm spending scrolling. Because if you do the math, right, even one hour a day is more than a day a month, which is insane. So again, down to one hour a day. But during a social media break, what I do is I actually delete them fully from my phone. I don't just hide them in my apps area because I will go and find them. (laughs) The amount of times that I unlock my phone in a day, especially when I have deleted the apps to look for the apps is ridiculous because you end up doing them anytime you're bored or anytime you're filling time. And then when I add them back on, I make sure that my notifications are still silenced, that I still have my timers on, that I are not on my home screen. I have to actually go into the apps area So there's little things that I do even when I'm not on a break to make sure that I'm not, you know, spending all my day there. But the other things that you should consider it or if you haven't done it, why you should do it is definitely increase productivity, right? It's an hour a day. I'm not spending scrolling. So it's an hour a day I I get back in my life. It definitely can help with mental health, you know, for me or for others, the FOMO of fear of missing out or, oh, I'm getting left behind or, oh, so-and-so did you know, I've had a couple instances in the last six months where, you know, my friends have hired other small business owners to do their branding or do their website. And, and you know, I've seen it on social. That's how I find out, which certainly doesn't help sometimes from a mental health perspective. And then obviously the most important thing, especially during a holiday week, is being present in those real life connections. But I think it just goes to show how important it is to be conscious of your habits around social media and how you are spending your time. So definitely I experienced the kind of same things that I felt last year, right? That the thoughts around, did it happen if I can't share it? Which I, again, I did a ton of fun things and I just saved some of it to share the following week, right? It doesn't, I don't have to always share it in real time. And there's other entrepreneurs that talk about that as well, but it is definitely that reminder. You do not have to share things in real time. Two, you get that increased productivity, right? So the on the last episode, I talked about doing the brain dump of joy. You certainly could do that with that extra time. Or for me, getting back into my podcast and, and allowing my time to be more creative and draw. And I started a new project, kind of like a drawing thing, at whatever, for my family. And again, I wouldn't have had that time if I would have been scrolling because again, I'm I'm using it in more creative ways. And then the other thing, you know, as I would say, definitely always taking more than two days because it kind of takes time to get into what your body kind of feels like as that vacation mode. So days three through five are always that kind of sweet spot for me where, you know, I'm able to put my phone down and forget about it for hours or forget where it is or not need it in my hand, not need it in my back pocket, not need it in my purse and kind of just walk away from it. You can feel a lot calmer and less anxious when that happens. And, and certainly, my experiences reflect that. So I challenge you that when was the last time you felt truly present? When was the last time you decided to just be yourself and your, with your family instead of the rest of the world in tow with your phone? When was the last time you didn't go looking for your phone every second of the day and get that peace of quiet that you're truly looking for? And, you know, maybe when was the last time you found yourself in the next hour in the day? 
Do you know how long you're scrolling? Seriously, the time adds up. So try it. Go at least three days and let me know what you think. And in the meantime, know that I enjoyed my time off, right? For those of you who are on my social, I got to go to the zoo and spend time with my daughter. We got to go boating. We got to go. My husband and I had a date golfing 4th of July night because we don't do fireworks. I got to spend time with both sides of my family. I got my tattoo. I got to spend time with my small business owner friends and women who I've become close with all while not sharing it. And guess what? I still had an amazing life. So I encourage you, think about it, take a little break from social media. And you know, again, for those who are content creation people or small business owners, I was also on a walk with a friend of mine. I'm doing the Minnesota goodbye here just as an FYI. But I was a walk. I was on a walk with a friend after that Monday night boat cruise, and she was talking about being scared to not post for a month and to take some time off of social media and how it would impact her business. And I told her that, you know, I knew her business. I knew how she was generating income. And I said, your business is not being generated from your income is not being generated from social media. And you, it is very easy to become trapped into the game of content creation and being present on social media and thinking that's the end all be all to having your business be successful. So this is just a reminder that everyone feels that pressure, but you need to take care of you and your vision of your life, not what your business quote unquote dictates, right? So take the time off. If you are feeling that tug, take the time off. Your business is not more important than your mental health. It is not more important than your nervous system. And, you know, know that everything will be okay in the end. So after this long Minnesota goodbye, thank you again. Share this episode with a friend who you think needs to hear it or any other episode of the Being Better Everyday podcast. And until next time, keep on taking one step towards being better every day. And that's a wrap on today's episode of the Being Better Everyday podcast. Thank you for listening. I truly appreciate each listener. If you've enjoyed the conversation, I'd Love if you would leave a rating and review or share it with your bestie to help me reach more women looking to ask the hard questions and live above that status quo. To see any visuals, head over to my YouTube channel. Links, socials, and resources mentioned can be found in today's show notes. If you're looking for more, you can find me on Instagram at julie.pwdesigns, sharing the behind the scenes of my everyday life as a millennial mom, corporate girly, and small business owner. Until next time, keep on taking one step at a time towards your version of being better every day.